Dow Jones Industrials up about 189 points. We're just about 30 days away from this epic showdown between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. And investors are very much on the edge of their seats, no matter which side they're on, because with many fund managers trimming their positions and beefing up their cash reserves, some of you out there are saying, I, I still want to buy and own stocks. Well, my next guest has $5.5 in assets and says, you can do that. Stay calm, stay invested. There will be a relief rally that could make you a pretty penny. Let's bring in John Trainer. He's People's United Wealth Management CIO. Relief rally. So day absolutely. after the election, what happened? Well, between, between the election and year end, absolutely. We think you're going to see a traditional re relief rally, a little bit more of a rally. The market's forecasting a Hillary win right now. Mm -hmm. So probably a little bit more of a rally with Hillary, but we still think you could get a rally with Trump. The market doesn't like uncertainty. The election will get rid of a lot of uncertainty. Knowing that, that if your scenario plays out of a relief rally, what should people watching right now maybe be cherry picking as far as names? Well, we still like the consumer. The consumer's driving this economy, so you want to focus on consumer stocks, those are stocks that are exposed fact, to consumer, a growing economy. University of Michigan consumer sentiment came in today at 91.2, which is uh, better than expected. Absolutely, absolutely. The consumer has been the engine of the economy. One of the things that was very nice that we saw with the, the GDP revision, we finally saw business investment going up. So if, if the consumer stays strong and we see businesses gain confidence, that'll be great for the economy. These are your names. Capital One, Walt Disney, TJ Companies, which is TJ TJ Maxx. Max. Yep, EOG Resources. Uh, common Correct. threads that you look for that you must have as a basic threshold when you're buying a name. You, you've got to be looking for companies that are generating earnings based upon their business. We're not looking for financial engineering. We're not looking for earnings driven by buybacks. These are all companies that have good businesses and they're driving their sale, they're driving sales, driving earnings. I have to Absolutely. ask you about Deutsche Bank because it has sure. colored these markets red or green Absolutely. as it were today depending on the sure. news flow. Deutsche does sure. not have a deal yet with mm -hmm. the Department of Justice. Yep. It may. That's yep. why this market is moving higher. But yep. is this a name that you would consider owning? We, we would not. We don't own it. Uh, we would agree with your prior guest, Brad. They, Dorf, yeah. Yeah, correct. If they, if they solve their problems with, with the Department of Justice, that's great, but they still have bigger problems ahead of them. We don't think it's a buying opportunity in Deutsche Bank right now. Are you worried no. about uh, the financial system overall? This doesn't feel like a total Lehman moment. There are parallels, but not, no. not at the crucial uh, you know, checkpoints. No, we actually look at the financials as almost going through a lost decade. And we talked about the lost decade in Japan years ago. You've got financial stocks, they're normally early cycle stocks that haven't had any kind of a move. So the financial stocks have really been in a, in a quandary for quite some time. Part of it's the Fed with zero interest rates, and part of it is just loan demand. I need to point out that we are well off our highs, still up about 177 points. Is this right. just a sell on a Friday? We don't want to go uh, in too long? I, I think so. I think so. The, today's move was a, was a great move. We're very glad to see it. It ended the quarter very nicely, but I, I think it's, it's a precursor of things to come. Folks, Absolutely. I also want to remind everybody, next week there is a major data point aside from all the other election drama, and that's the jobs report Correct. for the month of September. Correct. What do you foresee for the Labor Department and the labor market? We think it'll be a positive jobs number. We're not looking, we're, we're actually hoping that the unemployment rate doesn't go down. We'd love to see the participation rate increase. We'd love to see you yeah, know, employment continue to move up. So we're looking for a good number. John Trainer, People's Wealth Management.